Hello everyone, I'm Chris Lamb. I'm the in-house certified divorce coach and senior law clerk at Benwell Family Law Group. Today, we're focusing on you, the viewers, our clients who are still at home practicing self-distancing and um, still have a lot of questions for us here at Benwell Family Law Group. I want to take the time to really say thank you. Thank you on behalf of Mr. Benmore and everyone at our uh, law firm to stay remaining at home, to keeping all of our Canadians' family safe, and rest assured that we will continue to be here for you and your family. We're going to do something different today. Um, we wanted to give you an uplifting message, a message of hope, a message of togetherness, and we're going to speak to Mr. Benmore about his recent experience with the client who was stressed, who was frustrated, who was scared of um, you know, what we could do to help him bring back his five-year-old daughter in his care during COVID. So why don't we jump right in, say hello to Mr. Benmore, and Mr. Benmore, why don't you share with us exactly what you were able to do with the client, how the client felt, and um, go from there. Hi, Mr. Thanks, Benmore. Chris. Um, you know, it's, it's uh, a difficult time on many levels, but one as a worker in the legal industry is when clients have always called us, uh, we generally have an answer. We say, you know, if this happens, then this is the consequence. We, we have a remedy, but COVID-19 has created an arena with the court's closures and most people not leaving the house and uh, in a state of fear uh, in a pandemic. Uh, not knowing what to do. And so judges, lawyers, uh, healthcare workers um, are all caught off guard and not knowing what to do. And so it's not so surprising that our clients, the mothers, the fathers, the husbands and the wives um, in the last month have also been searching for answers, not knowing what to do. And we had a situation recently where um, our client um, all of a sudden was denied his time with his five-year-old and thinking, of course, that the courts are closed and he had no remedy. Um, he was getting very disillusioned, very upset, very sad. Um, we spoke. We learned what the situation was. We understood the circumstances. We heard what happened and we were able to act very quickly in order to get a judge to deal with his situation in a fair, but most specifically, a speedy way to undo the damage that was beginning to occur in his relationship with his daughter, with his uh, former partner, denying him time with the child. And within a matter of a couple of days, we were able to put together our court documents, uh, file it in court, all done electronically. And last Friday, uh, I spent the greater part of the day arguing his case in front of the judge who was able to ultimately bring about a reasonable settlement that brought his daughter back to his hands on Friday at 530 where she is right now. So my message is um, we are here. We are here to help. We are here to hear. We are here to support and in situations like the one I just described, there are remedies still available in the family courts of Ontario for these sorts of exceptional cases. Perfect, and I just want to jump in and say, uh, Mr. Benmore and everyone in our team, we are honored. We are grateful that we are still providing an essential service to our clients, and we will continue to be there for you. And if you have any questions or any other family law topics that you want, us to cover on, please go to asksteve at benmore.com and we will certainly record more of these videos for you. And um, please, again, stay home, stay, stay safe. And um, that's it for now. Thank you, everyone. Take Thank care. You. Bye.